Hey Bear Squad, what is up? Today I'm going to be talking about the MBVA down in New Orleans and the Amusement Expo. Probably more about the Amusement Expo because the MBVA doesn't really apply to me much. Uh, it's more for bulk vendors, but they do talk a lot about amusement vending, which I'm going to be getting into in the near future. I'm really excited about it. We're going to start buying some claw machines and uh, just different amusement machines. I'm really, really stoked to get into this. So I went down to New Orleans and I hung out with some of the coolest people in the world. We got Dominic Barbado, Aaron over at Claw Kicker, Jaime Ibanez, the one and only. We've got Lonzo's Loot, uh, Quick Play, Eli and Cody. You got to hang out with both of them. I'm super, super stoked. Uh, everyone, just everyone was uh, really great. Everyone got to hang out together. And we just had a blast, guys. It was so much fun. And uh, we learned, to, I personally, I don't know what everyone else learned, but I learned a lot while I was down there. And I'm pretty stoked about it all together. Uh, before we get too far into this, uh, let's show you something that is more or less right up my alley in this whole thing. We saw a Coke-owned machine while we were there, and I've never seen anything this new. So I thought it was really, really cool, and I wanted to show you. Uh, let me roll that clip real quick. This is legit the newest Coke machine that I've seen. It's a crazy display. Let's hack it. Yeah, hack it, Aaron. Two dollars per bottle. Let's get the three in So what you gotta do is just oh, pull out. What? Do you return it? Oh no way, dude. Try to spin it fast. Oh, that's, that's a good system. That's epic. I kind of want one of these, but at the same time, I'm like scared to death of I mean, having one. Just, like, replace the door, right? You can see yeah, I like, bet you it's just here, the door. Is there a... Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. That was a bad install. That was a bad install. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, it's an 840, or an 804. It's a Royal 804. It's a Royal? Yeah, it's a... And shortly after that, we saw a two-wide USI machine with beauty products in it, which I thought was pretty cool because I, I would never buy a two-wide USI snack machine. It's just it's just too small, and you wouldn't I mean, you wouldn't really collect anything out of it, even if it was sold all the way out. Not really uh, not really worth the time. But I mean, if you're selling beauty products like these guys are, it's probably worth it. After we walked around, I decided it was time to get some FaceTime on the camera. Uh, so I was hanging out with Dom and them and uh, figured I'd just shoot a little clip talking very lightly about the MBVA and uh, we'll roll that right now. Alright guys, so we were just at the NBVA, here let me put this the right way, NBVA, and uh, it, was, it was okay, there was a lot of people talking there, we had our good friend Dominic Barbado. What's up? You're part of the board, right? I am, He's I'm part on of the board. board on there. Yes, I'm also on this executive committee, that's a bunch of BS, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, but we've got the whole crew here, we've got everyone hanging out, we've got Aaron in the background from Claw Kicker, Jaime's taking pictures. Just having a good time. I haven't talked at the camera at all, so I figured I'd just call myself out and do it right now. So <laughs> exposed. <laughs> exposed. In the process of this, I was filming, saying hi to everybody, and uh, I almost forgot the most important person because you guys need to go sub to him. Lonzo's loot. This guy's awesome. He's got pretty solid content. Really, really good guy to hang out with. I had a blast with him. The best person out of this entire group of people though, this guy right here. This guy right here. Lonzo's loot. So after that was all done and over, we went back to the crib, hung out, just had a good time. And then the next day, we went to the Amusement Expo and that is where it was at. The Amusement Expo was absolutely amazing. And something I wanna jump right into that affects me directly and what I'm gonna be buying like for all of my vending machines in the near future is these Pyramid Bill Validators with Nyax VPOS Touch Bezels. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And the best part about this thing is I don't need to drill any holes in my machine. Just so you guys know ahead of time, I'm not really getting paid to do any of this. I just really love the product. And uh, I'm gonna buy one. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to work out some sort of deal, maybe. I don't know. Pyramid, if you're watching, I would love to. But I'm super, super stoked about these because they were the people who just took what everyone was thinking 
and was like, oh, let's just do it. And they built this beautiful piece of equipment that you guys see on the screen right now. And I just, I can't wait, cannot wait to put this in one of my machines and see how it does. Uh, I know for a fact that install time on credit card readers would be so much faster, like ridiculously faster if I was using these on a regular basis and there were no holes in your machine. No holes, that's epic. That's what I want. I can't wait to get one of these installed. Okay, now that I've got my obsessive rant off of the table, let's move on to the next thing. Listen guys, I'm operating on a near dead battery, but check this out. This is what I'm all about. I want to get some of these. These are nice, the little heat man. Or those, or those, hold on. Wait a second, we want those, yes. Near future guys, that is coming into play. It's definitely gonna happen. Will you win one? Yeah, we won. Look at this, Dom already got one. Oh man, there's like no light over here. Oh, in the back it goes. This is nice. Lonzo, you gonna go for it? Mini cranes. Now, a lot of people have been seeing the mini cranes that uh, a couple of our friends have been using, and I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy mini cranes or if I'm gonna buy big cranes, but I am gonna buy cranes. It's gonna happen. I am so stoked about getting into this because Mark, my buddy Mark Saito has gotten into this. You know, we got Quick Play, Eli and Cody, they're into it. Uh, Aaron at Claw Kicker, he is, he's been doing this way longer than any of us have, but uh, I'm super stoked about it. Jaime Ibanez just released a video where he placed his first claw machine. I just think that's where vending's going. Amusement. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be diving into the amusement thing as soon as I feasibly can. And I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. One more notable thing I saw at the expo was a gigantic gumball machine with a VPOS touch on it. I was kind of shocked at this. I knew they existed because uh, Cody and Eli at Quick Play own one, but I had never actually seen one in person. And the sheer size of these things, is just totally outstanding. Like, look at how big this thing is. It's nuts. But uh, right after that, my battery and my camera died, so that was pretty much all the footage because I left the expo, got on the airplane, came home to avoid that coronavirus that everyone's talking about. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace out, Bear Squad. This is the Polar Bear signing off.